Big news today. Our former fascist president, Donald J. Trump, was indicted by a federal court. So let's recap on what's been going, happening across the nation. As you can see, all these states with the swastikas have passed laws that have obstructed voting rights. Um, some states have, it, have gone back to proposing bringing back child labor. How about that? Ohio, Missouri, and oh, Iowa. Uh, 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 let's see. Some of it in Arkansas. Right, right, Arkansas. And then in Georgia, uh, you can't even give an old lady a bottle of water waiting right, for you vote can't, to vote. Right, if grandma is waiting in line to vote for eight hours, if you give her a bottle of water, you'll be in trouble. And as you see the, the fascist acts on the signs, that's where those states have restricted the First Amendment. And in a couple of states, they've made it legal to run over protesters. So that's our, that's our divided states of America, which has... Uh very much become the product of fascism. So, books, just like the Nazis. my friend Robin and me are going to give you a little a little talk about a refresher talk about how fascism is coming to America. Yes, let's go back to June 11, 1963, JFK defined the civil rights crisis as moral as well as constitutional and legal. Well, JFK, you know, he uh, pushed the Civil Rights Bill. He did it kind of reluctantly, but give him credit that he did put that through. It was left in the hands of LBJ because he was assassinated. Who, uh, LBJ, of course, who shortly after JFK's assassination signed the Civil Rights Act into law on J July 2nd, 1964, followed by the Voting Rights Act of 1965. Right, and then Section 4B of the Voting Rights Act of 1965 established a formula to determine which state and local governments demonstrated a history of voting rights violations. Yeah, Anthony Scalia, Anthony Kennedy, Clarence Thomas, and Samuel Alito Jr., along with John Roberts, in June 25th, 2013, 2013 they, uh, Section 4 decided Section 4 was unconstitutional and its formula can no longer be used. You see, it, there had been a, 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 a something that allowed you to hold these southern states or states that uh, uh, discriminated against blacks to account. And so what they did was they uh, called it unconstitutional because the, the coverage formula was based on data and it was over 40 years old, they said it no longer was, quote, responsive to current needs. Right. That was Shelby County versus Holder. So let's jump, uh, jump a little bit um, back to, to the next uh, fascist uh, action by the same exact group of Supreme Court judges, um, the Federal Election Commission versus Citizens United, a conservative nonprofit organization sought to air and advertise a film critical of Hillary Clinton shortly before the election of 2008. Now, broadcasting that film would have been a violation of the 2002 Bipartisan Campaign Reform Act, which was trying to make it so that uh, infinite amounts of money couldn't come into our uh, system and corrupt it. Yeah, it, which, it, which prohibited any corporation or nonprofit organization from making any expenditure advocating the defeat of a candidate at any time. But in January 21st, on 2010, in a five to four decision, it was those same justices. The same justices. They were in favor of Citizens United, which that's a bad name, really. It says should be Billionaires United. Yeah, Billionaires United. Good one, Batman. It struck down, they struck down the Bipartisan Campaign Reform Act. You know, John McCain was part of that, I think. Right. I recall. The, the restrictions on independent expenditures from corporate treasuries were violations of the First Amendment, said the court. Anthony Kennedy, Kennedy, Clarence Thomas, Samuel Alito, and John Roberts, once yeah. again. It's like a merry-go-round. They were the culprits that, that gave us that. But, yeah. but now, 
Now, now we've had um, this fascism brewing, um, of course, with the uh, election of, of Donald J. Trump. Uh, now, wh what exactly is fascism, uh, Robin? Want to well, explain? What, uh, one definition is uh, the merger of uh, corporate and state power. Uh, we can call that corporatism meets fascism. Or, right. You know, and uh, Benito Mussolini actually coined uh, that phrase. The merger of state and corporate power, uh, a political movement or regime that exalts nation and often race above the individual and that stands for a centralized autocratic government headed by a dictatorial leader with, with forcible suppression of opposition, with, with racism, scapegoating, and bullying. Yeah, those are the main elements. Yeah. Batman, you really took that uh, Politics 101 course to, to, to heed. There. That is right. And, and, and as we come to this day and age, we have two governors that are, are all out fascist. Uh, under the direction of Governor Ron DeSantis, Flo the Florida Board of Education voted to block instruction about any sexual orientation or gender identity in all grades. Yeah, imagine that. I mean, you know, you can't teach anybody about that gay people exist. Yeah. Florida has passed a law requiring books be approved by a district manager who has a media specialist certificate. Yes, uh, Ron DeSantis also did what? Well, he put in a new uh, pregnancy ban. Right. I think he even went further, didn't he, Batman? Yes, uh, DeSantis also signed a bill into law that allows Floridians to carry concealed guns without a permit. Well, isn't that safe? Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, you yeah, would think. Really. Right. Yeah. Right. Now, 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 in June of 2022, Ron DeSantis signed a, a mil $12 million budget set aside for transportation of migrants out of the state of Florida to wherever. Well, anywhere he picked, which was, of course, not something that they would pick. Right. They were lured into it. Right. Um, um, Greg Abbott, the fascist governor of Texas, has, has also spent $12 million and he has sent over 10,000 migrants to the city of Chicago. Yeah, overwhelming the, the resources of that city. Right, but the irony is that what DeSantis and Ab Abbott have done is simply well, human... Human trafficking. Right. One word, two, right. two words for it. There you or go. Or kidnapping. Right, right. Or it's luring people with false pretenses. It's like some guy that goes uh, uh, and lures uh, uh, pretty women with uh, talk that he's an agent or something. That is correct. And now, now we uh, the the ultimate example of fascism was the was uh, America electing uh, uh, Donald J. Trump. Now, um, what happened there? Um, most of those guys were bozos, and once they got into the Capitol Hill, they didn't know what to do. You're and talking about now, the insurrection, right? The insurrectionists on January 6th. Right. Now. Um, uh, the fact that this this um, criminal could actually be running again is just uh, 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 it's a travesty. It's travesty. a travesty, right? And it could happen again. And explain how it could happen again. Like that phrase of the famous book that it can't happen again. We know that it can happen again. Right. We know that it happened in a very civilized country at the time, Germany in the 30s. And um, if you don't, if you aren't alert, and if you don't make sure that you vote against fascism. There's a chance that it can t take place, take power, even in a democracy, uh, supposedly as strong as ours. No, no, I said that the guys were mostly clowns that went in there. What would happen if they were more organized and they had um, all of the, the GOP uh, congressmen behind them and the Capitol Police? Because there were some There were... Well, it, you're pointing out an excellent thing, Batman, and that is that they had two plans that day, and we're lucky, we are only lucky, we survived because the second plan really wasn't introduced very well. Had there been better organization, what happened was that these idiots that went in there with, the, with their shaman and everybody, crazy people with Auschwitz, uh, didn't uh, go far enough on uh, t-shirts and stuff like that. Those guys, luckily they were put off by the Capitol Police long enough so that they couldn't kill anybody amongst the senators. But a better organization could could it make it actually a reality well, if, if if this fascist were to be reelected? Well, we we know that it was kind of an unorganized mob because Trump was not good enough at organization. He could be better the next time. But as you were about leading into Batman, there was a second plot that they had, and that was that they were going to try to subvert the election 
uh, by voting in phony electors if they had a chance. Right. And on the on the on the Senate and House floor, they tried to do that, but they didn't have the heart to do it after the insurrection. Well, they did that uh, back in 2000. Jeb Bush was the governor of Florida, and there was there's a thing called cross check, where um, they basically threw uh, how many off the voting rolls? Well, the estimates are that it might be as many as half a million in Florida. Yes, and, and it was... Black people that just had a name that right. was similar to another name in another well, state. Well, um, um, most, most African Americans have names of the British Isles. Washington, Jackson, Adams, Jones, Smith, names like that. So <laughs> it was very easy to find other people named Smith and match them up. Uh, this Smith had a criminal record. This Smith a didn't A criminal have record a, in another state. Right, in another state. So. So um, they, they, they pretty much got away with that, and that helped uh, elect uh, a fascist the, George W. Bush back in uh, 2000. 2000. It was right. the only reason he won was the cross check, removing but, blacks from the from the voter rolls. But Florida. fast forward, all all that horrible stuff that happened from that time till now. Now we jump to the reality of today is that uh, that, that fascist is actually going to face justice. We hope. Now, how how could this fail? You said you were telling me that there would that Trump could appeal and appeal and appeal all the way through if he were well, to be reelected. Let's, let's, if he were to be reelected, we could we can't celebrate. And even though I said Batman, why don't we go out and celebrate? Right. You you held me back. You said, well, there's uh, stuff that could go wrong. Even though he's been indicted 37 times, I think. Yeah. On Thursday, so. Um, it is just uh, an unbelievable thing that he's still running around, but because the justice wheels move so slowly, they're like a toy cart compared well, to... Well, it looks like Jack Smith is, is a little different in that sense. Yeah, I think he, he wants to get this done. I think he's the first one that really, truly wants to get this done. As you notice, yeah, he didn't it, take any questions. He just was straightforward. The end of statement. I'm out of here. He's no nonsense. He's yeah. like... He's like a, a, Sergeant Friday, uh, right. Just the facts, ma'am. And uh, if you're, if you look guilty, we're going to go after you. Mm -hmm. But uh, the problem is, indi indictment is not a conviction. And there's a lot of things that could go wrong. One thing is that this judge, that supposedly was at random picked, but everybody's very suspicious about that. Um, this uh, Luce Cannon, or I think I I Eileen Cannon, she is. But uh, she has a history of, of voting in favor of fascists, especially Trump, in the last. Um, what was had. her name? Uh, Eileen Cannon. Some of us call her Luce Cannon. I've heard that a lot. And I didn't make that up. But um, uh, if she votes, if she if she rules in favor of delaying the case, it could, could go all the way until November of 2024, and still no resolution. Uh, and, and if the um, tragedy of of America being stupid enough to reelect Trump again, um, it could be the end of democracy for America. We have to vote. Blue, no matter who. Well, blue, no matter who, of um, course, because the Republicans are enabling this. this um, the fashion. Democrats, um, as corrupt as some of them might be, some of them, um, Manchin, they're not fascist. There's a man. There's Joe Manchin and there's Kristen Sinema. Two right. examples of people that are taking a lot of corporate money. Right, right. But not every Democrat. But is. they're still not fascist. Absolutely not. Yeah. They're not that far gone. But um, um, and and there's many good Democrats. I mean, you can think of uh, Congressman Polkan, you can think of Tom, Congressman Kana, you can think of Amy Klobuchar, you yes. can think of Elizabeth Warren, yes. and Bernie Sanders, Gretchen Whitmer, uh, Bernie Sanders, Gretchen uh, Whitmer, uh, uh, governors. I, yeah. I was thinking only of Congress there. But um, she has actually reversed a lot of a lot of bad, like uh, for example, the anti-union laws, um, the right to work for less. Um, she's reversed that, and a few other things. And abortion rights. Oh well, yeah, right. Oh, we forgot to mention that um, that same, uh, 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 pretty much that same uh, uh, group of judges are part of the reason why Roe v. Wade was overturned. So you can add that to the list of, of going backwards uh, they to took away women's rights, yeah, uh, their own right. uh, reproductive rights. Right. Yeah. It is a problem, mm -hmm. but uh, still, uh, there are many Catholics that are fine with women's rights because they don't want to merge their their church ideas with the state mm -hmm. because they want to go along with our constitutional right, right. founding fathers right. that said there should right. be a wall between church and state. So like, um, President Biden is a Catholic, but he doesn't try to impose Catholic, uh, right, uh, right. He doesn't on, right. He on keeps on his faith on the Sunday system. at the church. He doesn't bring it into yes. Doesn't try um, to. But he does. He does um, make an attempt to be as moral as possible, which is what a true Christian is supposed to be, right? Well, I think Biden's moral. I yes. No, I'm saying that he. 
he he follows that example, but he doesn't like uh, use the uh, doctrine to to incorporate it into to uh, policy making. Well, you shouldn't impose ethics except the ethics that have to do with the, the laws that require you not to harm other people. Right. Those right. kind of things. Right. Right. Uh, so. Um, Jesus would have said, he certainly would have definitely said, don't harm other people mm -hmm. unless there's some real reason why you have self-defense, not some phony thing like in Florida. Mm -hmm. But um, Jesus would have said, he would have gone a step further and said, you should help your neighbor, which right. is what is actually right. in the Bible. And, and, and that is the opposite of what the GOP well, claiming to be Christians are doing right they're, now. They're totally not Christian. Many people would describe a lot of the GOP. Uh, the GOP, is, greedy obstructionist parasites. No longer the party of Lincoln, no longer, not even the party of Ike. Um, they're just the party of obstruction and greed. That's a good one, Batman. Yes, greedy. Or you could call them greedy old pigs because they're mostly old guys and they're greedy and they're pigs uh, although that's an insult to the animal pig which is actually a pretty smart animal uh, but yeah but, I, I don't I don't usually call them swine anymore because yeah. I found out swine were supposed to be intelligent well anyway um, we are the intellectual descendants of Batman and Robin and we are here to deliver a message that you should vote blue you should get out into the streets and protest what is happening. It's very serious. Uh, once America goes completely fascist, there's no way we're going to be able to turn back uh, without without uh, some bloodshed. We, we, we don't want to go there. We, right. What we want to do is preserve our democracy. We were given a jewel by our founding fathers, however imperfect they were. And they, uh, we will be really going back on our heritage if we somehow let this republic die. Oh, we must continue to move toward a more perfect union. Until next